We're so thankful you've chosen to be with us today here on this Monday as we begin another week. We had a wonderful day here at Falls Baptist Church. We had our open house Sunday and uh, wonderful to see many folks from the community and God was working in many hearts. We're just so thankful for his goodness. Well, I want to look at a familiar passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And this section here deals with temporal matters versus eternal matters. And certainly today, if ever there was a culture that lives from the here and now, it's the culture that we live in. And unfortunately, that has had a dramatic effect upon believers. The Apostle Paul tells us in verse 16 of chapter 4, under inspiration here, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet our inward man is renewed day by day. Well, this cause is the eternal cause of the Lord Jesus in the matter of the gospel going forth. And then we read in verse 17, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Here we see the perspective that kept the Apostle Paul from fainting. If anybody would have had the human right to faint, it would be the Apostle Paul. He had all kinds of uh, situations that would have brought him really down, being imprisoned and beaten, stoned, left for dead, shipwrecked. But I think one of the hardest things was betrayed by some that were the closest to him. But all these things he was able to put aside and continue on because he had a perspective that was eternal. He said, this light affliction, and if that's light affliction, then what we go through is hardly any affliction at all. But he said, this light affliction, it just for a moment, we've got to keep our perspective on eternity. Uh, we are we're going to have blessing because of all that we're going through. God's going to certainly take care of us. And so we need to realize that this is just a momentary thing. But the thing that I want us to understand is if you have an eternal perspective, then verse 16 kicks in the gear you are renewed day by day. Therefore, you have the strength spiritually to not faint. Moment by moment, day by day, God's grace is able to give us the strength, the wisdom, the tenacity, the refreshment, the right perspective, so that we can go through whatever we're facing and keep the right direction in our lives. Many believers today are throwing up their hands. Problems are coming. Things are looming around us. And in some places I see real pessimism. But it's always exciting to be in a place where there is an eternal perspective and people are excited about serving the Lord. All of a sudden you see a group of people that instead of being tempted to faint are being renewed day by day because they are living for that which matters that which will last, that which will glorify the Lord. And so for us, we need to take this admonition of the Apostle Paul and what a testimony, what an example. And we need to realize if we will keep our minds on what's important to God, the Spirit of God will refresh and renew us moment by moment, day by day. And we can keep right on going and we can have the joy of the Lord as we serve him.